Hello YouTube, I am der Steine Kobold and this is my entry for the Student Scissors 20k contest. The theme is two and I think these four are matching the theme in a few ways. So I've built two representatives from each of the two fractions of the Cybertronian War. Um, two of them are Minicons and two are normal. So here we have Autobot Skyhopper, Autobot Flashlight, Decepticon Edgar and Decepticon Gigatron. I will start with Skyhopper, so I will just set the others off to the side. Skyhopper transforms into a helicopter. Here he is from a front perspective, from the side, from the underside, from the upside and from the back. Here he is next to a minifigure, so you see he isn't that big. That's all there is to say about this mode, so let's get him transformed. The first step is removing these pieces here. They will become weapons for his robot mode. Second step is rotating this piece around so that it's in the middle. Then you have to bring these here up. Flip these panels here to the back. Bring this here down. The next thing is bringing these up and rotating the slopes. Bring it back till it uh, doesn't go any further. Repeat the exact same process on the other side. Flip out the head. Bring this chest piece here out of the way. Bring out the arms. Flip, flip back these pieces here. I like to rotate them so that this gap here is facing to the side. Next step is um, bringing the chest piece where it belongs. Then you have to rotate this around and at the same time hinge here the leg so that it gets into, his, uh, into its proper position. Then rotate the lower leg around and flip, out, uh, flip up the wing. Repeat the exact same process for the other side. Now bring in his weapons and attach them to his hands. So here's a look at him from the front, from the side. So he has a bit of a backpack, but I don't think it's that bad. Here he is from the back. His articulation isn't that bad for his size, but um, it could be better. So his head can look down that much, up that much, his arms hinge out to the side that much, which isn't really much. Uh, uh, his arms can hinge backwards and forward. He has an elbow joint, which but only bends until this far, so under 90 degrees, but I think it's okay. His legs don't really kick forward in that position. You have to bring them out to the side a bit and then bring them forward. So like this. They can hinge out to the side pretty well. So 90 degrees and a bit more if you bring the arm out of the way. So like that, so you see more than 90 degrees. 
Um, he has an, a swivel above the knee. And he has a knee joint which can bend until 90 degrees. So with his articulation covered, um, we're now coming to the details of Skyhopper. So he has a lot of uh, transparent pieces used to recreate flashlights. So here red and blue, uh, also down here and here on the back. Uh, I like how everything folds up on his back. So here these panels, this here and how this folds down. And what I also like are these pieces here. So how they end up, uh, so the position they end up in robot mode. I like it. It looks for me kind of like an arm cannon. So if you just bring it forward and give that to the side, maybe hinge it forwards too. So he has a cannon much like uh, the Seekers have. So Starscream and the others. He also has this printed piece here, which says police. And this piece here, I'm not sure uh, whether it's printed or if it's a sticker. Yes. And uh, I too like his stuffs, the, these two. Uh, how they are built with this antenna piece here, the lightsaber handle, and this transparent piece here. That's all I have to say about Skyhopper. So, next will be Flashlight. He also transforms into a helicopter, but his rotor can actually spin. So, it's on a Technic pin, which is um, stuck in the brick. His transformation is pretty easy. Um, you only have to move three parts. But at first, here he is next to a minifigure. So he's really small. He's built out of only nine pieces. So for the transformation, just bring down the arms and rotate around the head. So there we have Skyhopper, oh, uh, sorry, Flashlight in his robot mode. Here he is once again next to a minifigure. And next to Skyhopper. And if you now take Flashlight um, you see here Skyhopper has hollow space and you can actually fit flashlight in there so you can get him stand in there. The next transformer we will take a look at is Edgar. He is a Decepticon and he transforms into a spaceship. He is very small, like Skyhopper, although he is a bit bigger, not really much, but a tiny bit. So here we have him next to a minifigure. And that's everything in this mode, so it's time to transform him. First thing, you will have to extend those here on these bars. Then you rotate around this chest plate, rotate around the head, rotate at the waist, um, just like this. Um, bring these pieces here up, fold down the arms, and fold down. The shoulder plate. Yeah. So once again rotate this, bring this down and bring this down and that's Edgar in his robot mode. 
So he is next to a minifigure and next to his minicon enemy flashlight. And last but not least, we will take a look at Gigatron. So he transforms into an alien spaceship. He has this huge um, cannon on the top. Here he is from a front perspective, from the side, from the back, from the upside, and from the underside. Uh, much like Skyhopper, he has a weapon installed to his vehicle mode. It's this sword, so just detach it for a transformation. Oh, um, of course, uh, here he is next to a minifigure. So detach the sword, flip this here down, then flip it like this and bring this little piece down and fold it in there. So next thing you have to rotate here and rotate here this slope. Then you have to detach the cannon from the leg. So here and here, there the chain. So it just hangs around until we get it installed into his robot mode. Then rotate this little piece here. So adjust it, it's facing downwards. Bring down the leg. Rotate it around. And then on this side you have to rotate at the knee and bend the foot forwards. And on this side you have to rotate the foot and bend it forwards. So then next thing bring these panels here down and straighten them. So like this. Then rotate at the waist, collapse these panels down, bring up the arms, so just like this, flip out these panels here, rotate at the wrist, repeat the exact same process on the other, on the other side. Bring his torso forwards, flip these pieces here out, only a little bit, collapse this together, bring this down and at the same time rotate it around. Then for the next step I recommend pushing the arms down a bit, like this. And it's just a matter of rotating this piece down and spinning this piece around. And then you can hinge the arm up again. So then you have to rotate the head around so that his face is facing to the front. Then, so this attaches on one to his arms. You can choose whether the left or the right. I personally prefer to attach it on the right arm. So on the arm where you attach it, you have to rotate around the wrist 90 degrees and then just um, attach it here with the stud. Then bring in the sword, clip it into his hand and there is Gigatron fully transformed into his robot mode and I really like it so I think it's the best robot mode I've built so far. He has this jetpack here on the back 
I really like this. He has this huge cannon. It gives me kind of shockwave vibes. So he has to, uh, he too has a huge cannon on his arm. These are supposed to be cannons too. So at the knee pads he has cannons. Um, and he has this armor. I think it gives him kind of a look like a bug. So here these pieces and down there and these shoulder pieces. And he has of course these horns here. Uh, let's get into the articulation. So his head can look upwards that much, which is pretty much downwards that much, which also is good. It can rotate around freely. And you can even tilt the face side to side, so like this. He has butterfly joints, so they go backwards and forwards that much, so they're pretty useful. If you hinge this piece up, his arms can go outward that much. He has a bicep swivel, a single jointed elbow which goes about 90 degrees and a wrist swivel. He also has an ab crunch, so you, if you only utilize this joint here, you can bend him forward that much, but utilizing the joint in the back too, you can bring him forward that much, and that's a pretty decent range, I think. He also can hinge backwards, utilizing this joint here, that far, which isn't bad, I think. He has a waist swivel. His legs can kick forward that much. Backwards that much. They can, so I just, I'll just bring the arm out of the way so I can show you. Um, they can kick out to the side more than 90 degrees. He has a swivel above the knee, a single jointed knee, which bends until 90 degrees. And he has a swivel down here at the ankle and his ankle can tilt forward that much and backwards that much although that looks kind of weird so it looks like it's broken so his articulation is really great um, and he has a feature so if you pull this out here and flip this out and then hinge the head a bit down. Um, you have uh, this kind of face cannon that Lockdown has in Transformers Age of Extinction. So I like that detail. Here he is next to a minifigure. next to Edgar and of course next to his Autobot rival Skyhopper so um, with the minicons here we have all the four transformers I built for the contest together if you enjoyed the video um, please like it. Feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you want more videos, subscribe. Bye.